Mabuhay Pinam family! Welcome to my channel. So this video is going to be about breaking down each of my cash envelopes in our sinking fund binders. And this is just to explain to those who are asking if you are curious what are my categories are for, why I chose these categories, and why they fit our current lifestyle. So first of all, what is a sinking funds? So to me, sinking funds is a cash saved or reserved that is used to cover for like large um, expected expenses that you are likely to incur over like a 12 month period or a bit longer. So it depends on your goals. So you may be saving for a down payment or a kid's college fund. So these expenses are typically large and will not be covered by your monthly income like a sinking fund covers um, recurring necessary bills or annual celebrations such as Christmas, annual car service and insurance, um, maybe medical payments or school fees and so on. So once you set aside money in your sinking fund, it is there for you to use for future payments and fees. Um, another way to think of it is sinking funds is a method in which you give um, your current money like a future purpose to be spent and eases the pain of paying like a large bill at once. So this prevents us from using or swiping our debit or credit cards and, you know, getting ourselves into debt and paying unnecessary interest fees. So imagine getting like a large bill and instead of paying it with your credit card, which I know many people do, you pay it you pay it all off with cash you had been saving for over the year slowly. Like our family got out of like $35,000 in consumer's debt and we are keeping it that way by using and keep using this system. We reversed out of debt and don't plan on going back. So let's begin with our daily cash wallet. Okay, so this is my daily cash wallet. So in my wallet, I budget $550 in here for a whole month. Um, each of my categories in this wallet have like a specific amount. So how did I come up with the numbers? Like easy, like it's based on our previous expenses. So I have to stick to our budget every month and able to do what's more important for us, which is saving and not get back into debt. So it's easy to be swiping credit cards and sometimes you lose control of your spending. So to me, I'd rather have cash in hand where I can physically see it's depleting to know I have to stop the spending and I only replenish this in the beginning of the new month to start over our budget meaning whatever we spent for the previous month is the only amount I'm going to replenish okay so in my wallet um, I have my personal spending uh, my budget for this envelope is $100 I give myself $100 for a whole month to spend on anything I want and most of the time like I buy snacks at work or I may need like a battery. Okay, so for date, night, and dine out, so this envelope have a budget of $100 for the whole month for me and my husband. Um, most of the time, I'm with my husband when we're out and about. So for example, like he always drive me to go to the store um, to buy items for my business. And if we decide to get food, I have my budget for that. Family fun. Um, my budget for this envelope is $180. So this envelope is for my kids when we decide to take them out to go get ice cream or 
play at an arcade or go to the mall or watch a movie. Like when we go out, there's like five of us, um, me, my husband, and my three kids. And sometimes my dad tag along. Um, I can budget $180 for all of us, maybe less. But in case I go over budget, I have my budget buffer envelope for that, which I'm going to show you guys in a minute. Um, the next envelope is giving. So my budget for this envelope is $20. Um, sometimes when, uh, when I'm out, maybe like a homeless person asks for money and I'd give. Like I see, you know, kids and other people sell candies outside of a store and, you know, I support them. Um, I have my miscellaneous envelope and my budget for this envelope is $50 and you know, anything can come up like unexpectedly and this envelope is for that. And I have my budget buffer. Um, I have $100 in this envelope in case I go over on any of my other categories and it's just, you know, simple as that. And I have my savings challenge envelope is where I keep like my $1 bills. So if I'm at a store buying something and I get $1 bills in change, this is where I keep them. And then I'll deposit them into my card box, which, you know, I have a separate saving for that. So we are done with our daily cash wallet. Um, I do have one, two, three, four, five, like six. Um, binders and I know what you're thinking like six is a lot but it's you know so is trying to put all of my categories into two binders like high priority and low priority so I divided my categories into six binders so let's begin with our um, family binder um, it is important to me that each of my family members have their own envelopes, such as like, you know, myself, my husband, my daughter, who's eight years old, my son, who are six and nine years old. That is because we all have like different needs, um, you know, our personal needs. Um, like for my personal envelope, I want to be able to save money for something I might want in the future. So it can be um, a change of wardrobes. Like I don't buy clothes all the time. Like I rotate my clothes like all year, um, all year long. But if I decide that I get into this diet, trying to lose weight, exercising, like I might need a workout clothes to motivate me to work out. Like that's just an example. Um, if I want to watch like a show, like a concert or a comedy show or a big ticket splurge, I can pull out from this envelope. Okay, so for um, next is my husband's personal envelope. Um, he changes his wardrobe like every six months to one year like in the past he spent around four to six hundred dollars just to change his wardrobes from socks to underwear shorts t-shirt pants workout pants or he might just want to like replace his water bottle the water bottle that he had for a year so anything that he might need for himself he can pull out like from this envelope that is specifically for him so next is our um, kids, like our daughter who's eight, um, she's eight years old. Um, you know, I have my son who's six and nine years old. Like they have their own needs when it comes to clothes. Kids like generally grows up so fast that they need, you know, new clothes every what? eight months or so like my son who's six years old can get like hands me down clothes from his older brother but my nine-year-old however is growing so tall that I noticed that we had to buy him bigger clothes sooner than later and then I have yeah um I have an envelope for my oldest son. Um, he's 22 years old. He doesn't live with us anymore. I have an envelope for him because when we see each other and catch up, we usually eat at a restaurant and we pay for that and I give him money. So this money is for him and to spend time with him. 
Okay, next is my dad. So this envelope is for whatever he might ask me to help him with, such as like document fees. I usually take care of documents that he might need or application fees. Um, if he needs me to take him somewhere to take care of some documents, I use the money here to pay for parking, like things like that. And then next is our buffer envelope. So this is for like a little cushion for some things that we might be short for. So this keeps us safe. Okay, so we're done with our family binder. Okay, so our second binder is our variable expenses. These are the expenses that occur from time to time. Um, we have dining, um, dining envelope. So my family lives with my in-laws at the moment. They took us in so we can save money for our first home. My mom takes care of the groceries and a lot of times she cooks or buy food when she doesn't feel like cooking. So whatever is here at home, we eat. Um, there are times when me and my husband just want like different foods like outside from what we eat at home. Um, we dine out to satisfy our cravings. Okay, so next is haircut. Um, haircuts envelope. This money here is specifically for my boys' haircuts. It costs about $32 each for my husband and two of my young boys haircuts including the tip so they get their hair haircuts like every five to six months so i have time to like slowly build this up next is a beauty um, this envelope is for me so in the future i want to get my eyebrows professionally done i want to get you know eyelashes extensions i want to get botox facial makeup products like it cost money to enhance your beauty and I want to save money for that it's not a priority like for me right now so I'm like slowly building this up as well and we have a school activity so this is for my kids um, once in a while my kids participate in school events like whether they're selling chocolates fundraising to help their school um, we are here to support the school we have snacks. So as I said earlier, my mom takes care of the groceries and the snacks in this household. Um, the snacks she buys for everyone are on the unhealthy side. Um, I'd say they're more junk foods than healthy snacks. So we save money to buy ourselves like healthier snacks. Okay, we have household. So this envelope is for the stuff I buy for the bathrooms because I clean the bathrooms here and sometimes I just want like new sets of bathroom rugs, air fresheners, those tablets, tablets that you put in the toilet tank to make the water blue. So this envelope is for that. Okay, so we're done with our second binder. Our third binder is fixed cost binder. So exactly what that is, we know the exact amount and you know, it doesn't change. Um, okay, so first envelope is in-laws. Um, uh, our family, like our family currently live with my in-laws, like I said that earlier. So we are saving for our own house for the future and um at the moment we are paying rent here among other bills we give them like one thousand five hundred dollars every month for our share and at the moment that's like our only bills um for car uh, maintenance anything minor so this is for minor service such as filter replacement, engine oil, like tire rotation, like a quick car wash, air fresheners, anything that, does it, that doesn't cost a lot. And we have the car emergency. So I'm saving money for something that will cost us big, maybe like a tire blowout, like losing a wheel, power steering failure, brake failure, like stuff like that. Like it costs a lot to repair a car and we want to be ready for that. I remember in the past we had like 
we had to change all four of our tires brand new. It costed us around $700. Like that's a lot for us in one time fee. We have the credit cards envelope. We don't have consumer debt right now and we are you know we are out of credit card debt if we have to use a credit card for something i want to have enough money in this envelope to pay for that credit card and i'm slowly building this up in the event we use one of our credit cards annual membership so this envelope is for the fees that we have to pay yearly such as my dad's triple a membership like our house cameras our triple a memberships like house internet antivirus our van registration like i have a goal uh, for this in order to pay for all of our memberships and then tax filing. So my husband and I file our taxes jointly and every year we go to H&R Block and we pay around $520. Okay, so we are now done with our third binder going on to our fourth binder. Okay, so this is our um, occasion binder. So to me, this binder um, are not holidays these are just that occur from time to time that we want to do so I always want to have a money ready so first is our family fund so this envelope can be anything that involves our family hanging out and having fun it could be um, going to the museum going to Dave and Buster's because my kids, they love playing arcades um, or going bowling. Um, this year, I'm saving for a drive through holiday light show that happens around Chris Christmas season. Last year, we didn't get to go because I waited until Christmas time to go and it cost like a lot of money. I don't remember how much the price went up, but it was high enough that I didn't have the budget for it. So we missed that. But this year, I'm getting ready for that. Um, we're going to go a few weeks early before Christmas, so it won't cost that much. Um, we have their anniversary um, slash or, you know, Valentine's Day. Um, this is for me and my husband. Like our um, anniversary is one week away from Valentine's Day and we hardly celebrate both special events because, you know, we're always working. Um, we have a date night. Um, it's important that me and my husband get away, just the two of us taking a break from chaos, work, kids, stress, and, you know, just spend time with each other and catch up. Um, don't get me wrong. We love being with our family, especially our kids, but sometimes we just need to enjoy ourselves. Okay, we have spring break envelope. So kids, you know, need breaks too. And this one week holiday break from school, we like to go somewhere and do something fun. Last year, uh, oh no, this year, my sister and her husband invited us to like a, a resort and casino for spring break with our kids. And I estimated we spent close to like $300 buying souvenirs, foods and drinks. And, you know, that's what I I'm saving for for next year okay we have the summer break envelope um I'm saving for next year's summer break and my goal for this is $780 because two months is too long of a break of not to be doing anything and we want to be able to really go out and do stuff like locally um, other occasions, um, this envelope is for occasions I don't have specific for. If we get invited for like a baby shower or a wedding, a bridal shower or a graduation or a ceremony, like I want to have cash for anything we need to spend on on that particular event, like it could be an outfit or a gift. Okay, so we're done with this binder. So this is our fifth binder, and this is the Celebrations binder. 
Um, now, these are events that I feel are most important and I always have money for them. So the first one is birthday. So this envelope is for um, my family's birthday gifts and celebrations, like the kids especially. Um, we like to give them like what they want and, you know, we usually rent uh, a bouncy house for them. We have graduations. Um, I'm saving for my kids' graduations. Like it doesn't have to be grand. Um, we just want to go out and eat and celebrate. Like my nine-year-old is graduating middle school next June and we'd love to do something for him. Um, we'll continue to save money for our kids' like graduations. Um, we have awards. So nothing better than your kids come home and brings home um, awards or achievements from school right so when they do as a parent you feel proud and we also want to reward them for all their hard work so whether you know we take them to go get ice cream um, Halloween so our kids favorite holiday because once a year they get to dress up something different um, everybody gets into the spirit of Halloween um, they love costumes but they can be you know costly so my budget for this year is $280 for three kids costumes Okay, we have the Christmas envelope. Um, Christmas is my favorite holiday. Therefore, it's my family's favorite holiday too. Um, I love like the fairy lights, the decors. I love shopping for gifts, wrapping gifts. Kids are on break from school, you know, spending more time with family. It's just like a different dynamic. So this is the only holiday we go all out buying everybody gifts, like especially the kids. Um, you know, you spend like what you saved guilt free. Okay, so we are now done with this binder. Going on to our sixth binder. This is um, our future binder. So these are sort of like low priority to me right now. Um, later in life, we will need um, the money. So I just want to be prepared. Um, the first envelope is kids classes. Um, we might want to enroll our kids in classes that will benefit them. Like my daughter, she's talking about wanting to enroll in martial arts class, but I'd rather enroll them like in swimming class. Like my nine-year-old took a swimming class before, so he's confident. But the other two, um, I would love for them to know how to swim. Uh, next is YouTube. So this envelope is anything YouTube related, whether I need to upgrade our equipment or doing a giveaway. Okay, so for a moving envelope, um, moving is expensive and I thought we will have like a couple more years to save until we move out of my in-laws house. That's why this is not a priority right now, but my husband said if the market turns by 2023, we will grab that opportunity. So I think like we're not financially ready, but my husband is confident. So wherever he goes, I'll go. Um, we don't have a lot to be taking with us when we move out. Just, you know, our bed, our sofa, and just a couple of boxes for our clothes, shoes, and personal things. Um, investment so this envelope is for my investment on like vending machines um, I'd love to someday own a couple of vending machines just to experience it um, I know it costs like thousands of dollars to own one but that's why I have this envelope now um, it's going to take me a long time to get that dream but it's better to start saving now Okay, we have our future. So this envelope is for anything that might come up in the future that I didn't really save for. I don't know what that is, but if something comes up in the future and I might need the money for it, I can deep in here. Okay, so we are now um, done with all of our binders. 
Okay, so this is it for the breakdown of our sinking funds categories. And I hope you got a better understanding of my system and goals. Uh, don't compare your goals to mine. Do what's best for you and your income. Like we all have to start at some place. So find what works for you. And that's the beauty of sinking funds. Like you can make it whatever you need to be. Um, we're all on our individual journeys together. Thank you for tuning in and i will see you guys on my next video bye